So we'll go to a Zoom question first. Jeff Kasuf, go ahead. Uh, hey, Sophia, um, just wanted to get you know your initial reaction on that that first goal and maybe um, to that that point um, uh, of Aaron's of just kind of what the the journey this year has been like and, and kind of getting to that point and, and what it's like now to to have that sort of uh, under your belt and behind you to to have that first goal. Yeah, um, this year obviously it's been difficult. I think it's been difficult for everyone. Um, it's a lot of uncertainties and. You know, you never really know what each day is going to hold, but I've just, you know, kept my head down and, and kept working hard. And to have this moment happen um, is super exciting and is something that I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. So it just feels like, you know, the pieces are coming together and, and dreams are coming true. But at the same time, I am really excited um, for the future and, you know, to, to continue working hard. All right, questions in the room. Meg first, go ahead. Hi, Sophia. Just to follow up with what Jeff was just asking, how do you get to like truly enjoy this moment and like hold on to it while still knowing like, okay, it's just the beginning, right? Like how do you yeah. balance those two emotions? Yeah, I think that's something that I've had to learn how to do, um, you know, to celebrate what, what I've done in, in the moment, but to also focus on the work that I have ahead of me. Um, I think I've done a good job of balancing that so far. I think I'm happy for myself. I'm happy, you know, with the way that this game turned out, but that just makes me more excited for what's to come. Go ahead. Congrats, Sophia. This is this goal comes in your first start for the women's national team, first goal. A year ago, plus a day, you got your first start for the Portland Thorns and scored your first goal. You just talk a little bit about all of that. I know you touched about the process a little bit, but how the NWSL has allowed you to get into form and then break into this national team and score the goal today? Yeah, I I think the NWSL is, is the best league in the world and I think you get very good competition in every single game that you play and I think just building up minutes um, with my club team with the Thorns has helped you know build my confidence, build my fitness, just get me in a, in a good rhythm um, and then going into this game I just wanted to cont continue that rhythm. Um, I just look at it as another game. Um, whatever team it is I'm playing for I, I always want to give everything I have um, and work my, my hardest for the team and for the people I'm playing next to. So just trying to, to stay in that rhythm and, and to remain level-headed um, and to, yeah, to always have the same mindset. Questions in the room? Hi, Sophia. I was wondering if you collectively as a group got the sense that this was a big night for Rose and uh, how did you feel about her uh, first few minutes with the goal and a few assists, assists right from the start. Yeah, um, it's been very clear this whole camp. <laughs> Rose is from Cincinnati, and nobody will forget that, I think, after this camp. Um, I think it's really cool for Rose to be able to come, you know, play in front of her hometown and, and family. And I think, you know, everyone dreams of that opportunity, and, and it happened for Rose. And to come out and play as well as she did and, and rack up the, you know, the assists and the goal, I think, is huge. And I'm I'm really excited for her. I think, you know, she's just an amazing player and, and this is really cool for her to be able to do this at home, so. Let's schedule a game for Commerce City, Colorado. Well, that's the closest yeah, we're gonna get. Yeah, Colorado would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? Go ahead. Talk to Vlatko a little bit about your role in this game in the first half. You started out on the right, then you kind of drift in and play as a dual nine with Alex, and then you play on the left in the second half. Can you just talk about what you're bringing in those different moments and how your versatility helps this team? Yeah, I think versatility is always a really good thing. Um, it's it's good for a coach to have players that you know he feels comfortable putting in, in different positions. And no matter what position I'm playing in, I think you know my mindset stays the same and, and my goals stay the same. Um, and so just being able to rotate um, and and change positions and play where I feel comfortable and and move around and feel free during the game is it's awesome. It's something that you know a lot of forwards want. Um, to be able to, to move around and have that freedom. So I think that's huge, and, and I think all the forwards on this team are capable of doing that, and I think that's what makes you know this team so great. Any other questions in the room? We have no more Zoomers. All right. Congrats on your first goal, Thank so you. thanks. Thank you.